everybody. Joyce here with the Traveling Gamblers and I am here with John. Hello, John. Hello, Joyce. And today is day one of six days on the Equinox. I had to think for a second what ship I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And yesterday was embarkation day. This is a six night Caribbean cruise and we left our house yesterday morning about 9.30 in the morning and drove to Fort Lauderdale. We parked our car at the port. Normally, John sets up the parking and we normally go through Park and Go. And we decided recently that it's, I think it's easier yeah. for us. Yeah. We found that it was uh, less expensive to park at Park and Go. But then when you add the, the gratuities each way and then you have to wait for it, it really, it's only a few dollars more to park in the parking garage. Yeah, and yeah, it's it so far, so far so good. With, right. So I think that might be the route that we're going to end up eventually just sticking with. Mm -hmm. We got on board about 11 mm -hmm. and we are in a celebrity suite. We got on board almost immediately. We came straight to our cabin. We didn't check our luggage this time. We mm -hmm. packed two medium-sized suitcases and we brought them on with us it was easy this time yes. because it wasn't 39 days six days <laughs> is a lot easier it's a lot easier <laughs> to pack so just a little tip you can bring up to including a medium-sized suitcase yourself anything larger than that won't fit through the security scanner the the belt that your bag has to go through so you can't do a large suitcase, but you can do a small or a medium. So we did two mediums. Mm -hmm. We were able to carry our luggage on. We, they have the inline wheels, so it was easy yeah. for us to man maneuver them. And we came to our cabin, and even though it says uh, perfection in progress, which means they're still working on your cabin, they allow you to go to your cabin, get your keys, and drop off any bags that you might have. And our cabin looked like it was complete and ready. Right. John and I took the opportunity and we put the do not disturb tag on the room and we did the quickly did the room tour. And I have to say that it's getting, the more I do them, the faster I'm, I am at them. I it's still an incredibly thorough tour. Right. Yeah, I almost finished uh, with the editing yes. and I think it's one of the more, more thorough Toys that it's pretty done. funny. Yeah, it was. It's really good. So I really don't do anything differently. I don't think about it. I just go through and I show everything. But you guys know that you watch the the tours. And after we did the room tour, we went to Lumine. We did. Yes, and it was funny because a few of the staff there remember us. Yes, the crew members. Right, right. And a few of them were in a video. When we did the review of Lumine for the Equinox last year, a few of them were, were in the video and they're still here. Yes. Well, they went home and came back. Marcel and Edison and Robbie right. were three that we became quite fond of. Right. And it was really lovely to see them yesterday. And I realized almost immediately that this is the first time that we're seeing them without masks. Because when we were here last August and September, they were still required to wear masks. Mm -hmm. So to see their faces, to see their smiles is so lovely. And we had a really nice lunch at right. Lumine. Right. And while John and I were sitting at lunch, we were having a conversation about when we can take a trip to Las Vegas. Not only do we love to go to Las Vegas to gamble, and we love the city, and all that it has to offer entertainment wise. But we have two very close friends that live in Las Vegas, Willie and Tressa. And in this conversation, it had me thinking about them. And I texted a group text to the two of them and said, we're thinking of you and we're talking about dates to come to Las Vegas. We miss you both very much. And Willie responded and said, oh, I thought you were texting to surprise me that you're on this cruise. And I said, what cruise? And he didn't answer me. So I addressed Tressa directly and said, Tressa, what is he talking about? And she said, we are getting on a cruise. And I said, oh, out of California because they live in Las Vegas. And she said, no, Florida. 
And I said, where? And she <laughs> said, we're getting on a six night equinox in Fort Lauderdale. And my heart started to race. And I said, please tell me you're not messing with me. Okay. And she said, no, why? So I called her and she said, we're in an Uber pulling up to the ship now. Why do you say that? And I said, because John and I are sitting on the equinox right now having lunch. None of us had any idea that the other couple was coming on this ship. And we are over the moon elated. We love them both yes. so much. Mm -hmm. And to be able to have this time with them is just such an incredible gift. We're so, so excited. We still don't know if it's real. Right. <laughs> it's completely changed no, the whole it's... tone of the entire cruise, mm -hmm. going from us spending most of the cruise working and editing to just being so thrilled that we have. They're like family to us. Willie's my brother, Tressa's his sister, mm -hmm. and we just adore them both. And then after we finished having lunch, we came straight back to the cabin, still reeling with excitement from Willie and Tressa coming on board. And we did our second live and it was hugely successful. Yes, it, it, it was so much fun. It really was. The yes. first time around, I think we were both so nervous and- The internet wasn't- Unsure right, right. of how it would go. And yesterday was just, it was just great. It was so wonderful. And we are so grateful and thankful and blessed to have all of you as subscribers and followers. And obviously we couldn't do this without you. Mm -hmm. And we just appreciate so much the fact that you find our videos entertaining, enjoyable, informative, all of the above, any of the above. Yeah. And for those of you that didn't see it, we did a poll because I wasn't sure if people still wanted to see the dailies. And I said, well, you know, should we, well, you had said. Well, let's know, ask them. Right. And, and we had about 70, I guess at that time we had about 60 people online and it was a resounding uh, yes. Yes. Uh, it was yes to the dailies. Yes, yes, yes. So we're doing the dailies. And they wanted to have some suggestions what we should add in our dailies. Someone wants to see me do dancing in the silent disco. Yes, we're definitely I, gonna do that. I think that we should, so John and I have actually discussed it and we committed to doing one activity on the ship at a minimum each day, because once we've been on a ship for so long, or once we've been on a ship in the past, I should say, there's not a whole lot to record about the ship. In this case, we are in a celebrity suite, which we've never been in before, so we could record that. But we've already done the ship tour. We've already done all of the meals. There's really nothing left. We did Tuscan, we did Murano, we did the main dining, on and on and on. So the activities is something that is ongoing, changing, and excursions, ongoing and changing. So we will be committing, or we are committing to doing at least one activity every day on every cruise that we go on moving forward, unless it's a new ship, a and ship I'm, that we haven't been on before. I'm not sure about the silent disco. And we're waiting to hear from the casino manager if we could record. Yes. Right, so. And I'm gonna do one of the hot glass classes. I've signed up and it's going to be the last night of the cruise at eight o'clock. And I chose the evening because I know it'll be cooler out because it's a very hot activity to do being by the fire and, and melting that into glass. And so we're gonna be doing that. That was a suggestion and thank you so much for that suggestion. And then after we did our live, we went and we found Willie and Tressa. They actually were in the casino, surprise, surprise. We all decided to go to dinner together and they are in aqua. So John and I joined them in blue and we had quite the lovely evening. We all had the same thing for dinner. We had Snapper. We had a filet of snapper and it was really delicious. After dinner, we went to the casino because it was night one. Oh, okay. And we had our free play and we played in the casino for a long time. We were in there till about midnight mm -hmm. and we, we really had a good time. We have about 50% of, of uh... Yeah, we have about $2,500 left of cash 
that we produced from our free play. And we came up to our cabin and we went to sleep. And here we are the next day. And we will tell you about today, tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate your support. And as always, we hope you have a wonderful day. Say goodbye, Nellie. Goodbye, Nellie.